welcome back to my channel. Today we're at the Edmonton New Tart Conservatory and the Giants in the Mist. Do the temperate pyramid? Okay, let's go. We'll do one. Where are the dinosaurs? Oh my gosh, there's one right off the bat. Burr, it's cold. Do you want your jacket back? <laughs> is an area containing specific dominant plants and associated animal life. Temperate biomes have distinct seasonal temperature variations. Plants in these areas become dormant for the winter. The major limiting growth factor in temperate biomes are temperature and hours of daylight. Facts about the temperate biome. Many trees that people use for timber and paper products grow in temperate forests. Winter is simulated in this pyramid by carefully maintaining a temperature of 7 to 10 degrees Celsius for several months. That is a pomegranate tree. And those are pomegranates. Oh, it. Are. Arctic. Yep. Bells. Bells. Arctic bells.
There are pokey plants, and we are not touching any plants. Lincoln? Oh, no touching any pokey plants. There's a lot of them. But there's cactuses. Correct, too. there are cactuses. This is the arid room. So it is. Oh my gosh! There's a dinosaur. Come on, look! Oh my gosh! Is that a T Rex? Yes. Yeah, it must be a lot of work to keep this thing up. <laughs> my plants <laughs> My plants don't look nearly so good. you to the website check it out and then this plant we're gonna learn about it this plant is called the mescal it says mescal agave is a type of agave succulent and a perennial in North American origin when they flower and bloom they can grow up to 15 feet tall wow. that's taller than that skeleton that you like at Halloween Oh my God. Traditionally, mezcal with the Z refers to the distilled alcoholic beverage made from agave plants. This specific plant is not usually used in the production of mezcal as it is more ornamental, although it can be. All parts of agave plants are actually edible. The liquor tequila is a type of mezcal made from the blue agave plant. And that's this one. Ooh, look at this pretty And lizard. I also saw um, a bison head there. Oh yes, you're right, a bison skull. Good memory. Do you remember that from when we went to the bison farm? Yeah. Okay, do you see that pokey plant right in front of you, man? Native to southern Mexico, but grown in arid places around the world. This tall growing species of agave makes for an interesting ornamental plant, but it is widely grown for the strong fibers in its leaves, comparable to hemp. The leaves are processed and the fibers are made into everything from rope and twine to hats, cloth and paper. Sisal hemp agave. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a puzzle. That's fun. Dump it out. Build me. There's it's under here if you want the rest of it. Whoa, this features over 700 species of plants in three different pyramids, the arid, the temperate, and a feature one. We're here for the feature one today, let's be real.
Oh my gosh, and a volcano. What? You see the T-Rex? Dilophosaurus. Double crested lizard. Oh, this is the Edmontonsaurus. That's what that is. There's bugs. Are they big bugs? You can, this is a bug right in front of you. another guy. We weren't sure if these were oranges or something else. I don't know. I don't know if it's edible. Oh, the Ankylosaurus. Fused lizard was a four-legged herbivore with a distinct club tail. Based on its height, it ate low-lying vegetation like ferns, fruits, and nuts. A full skeleton of Ankylosaurus has never been discovered and researchers are unsure of the exact placement of some of the skeletal structure on its back. Did you know they've never found a full skeleton of an ankylosaurus? What? They just guessed. They must be hard to find all the bones of. That's really cool. What is that? It's the back of the ankylosaurus. It's the back of the ankylosaurus. They also have a kid's zone with some cute little toys and just some like sensory play stuff. There's also a class that we're going to hit up for the kids at 11 o'clock and it sounds like they're going to be doing some stuff with shadows today so we're going to go hit that up now. We found the coat hangers. They are beside the bathrooms. And then wash your, put your hands in the sink. How convenient is that? More places need that. Yeah, I That's, do have that we got that. They have no trouble. That's awesome. Then we can put it back up. Done. Come dry your hand. You can see the bones. Oh my gosh. That's a bunny rabbit. That's a bunny rabbit's bones? And then that's what it looks Ooh. like. You want to see this and shadow? a frog? So I have a shadow on the ground. This is really neat. Wow. This is the eggs. The eggs. Here's one. Here's a good rainbow. Red, green, blue. Do you see it? So this, she's shining a white light. And this prism is breaking the white light into to show us the, the colors. That's yeah. why she says white light contains all the colors. Yeah. That is the Ankylosaurus footprint. That is so small. It's so different than the Edmonsaurus, hey, that we just saw. Put your foot on it, let's see. Wow, look how big the dinosaur is compared to you. Probably two of your feet. And this is the Edmonsaurus right here. And this is a real baby dinosaur skeleton. This dinosaur skeleton, known as Baby, was found in Dinosaur Provincial Park. You've been there. Baby is the most complete juvenile horned dinosaur ever found, only missing its front limbs. It is an ancestor of the Triceratops.
literally, you're literally in a forest. In the tropical room with all the feature pyramid with all of them. Yeah. And what was Lincoln, what was your favorite part the today? The T Rex was not turning on oh. the bone one. Is that what you're thinking about? Yeah. Oh. But no, I it. That's it for the interview. coconut in there I think that's pretty cool get it out you can't the tree grew out of the coconut what the heck? pretty cool Six, yeah, wow 50 years I didn't yeah, even know it's been years. around that long oh, yeah. that's yeah. crazy yeah and a lot's changed like when we first opened it was very presentational like it was a lot of plants in pots <laughs> yes and it's like it's a display very clearly yeah. and slowly over time it's evolved into mini ecosystems right so yeah yeah. That is really cool. Do you know if the plant in the feature pyramid oh. that looks like it has oranges on it is an orange tree? It is. It, it is. is. A, a calamondin orange. A, a what? Yeah. This a is a calamondin orange oh. tree and so is that, that one. one. Oh, so is it an edible orange or not? It is, but there's a caveat to that. They taste terrible. <laughs> They're more sour than a lemon. Oh, but funny. interestingly, um, we have uh, my, my I have a friend who works here mm. from the Philippines and she loves them because oh, in the funny. Philippines they, That's what they squeeze eat. the juice just like we do with lemons, add a bunch of sugar and have a delicious drink. Oh yeah. funny. But you could make that thing, an event for, oh, sure. for sure. Come because, and eat the Calamon oranges. What's so funny is very often I'll find some footprints down in here and I can see someone's gone in and grabbed an orange and Sure enough, within one to two meters, like it's discarded. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh, that's bad. So funny. That's so that's funny. Hilarious. That's hilarious. Kids have disappeared in the tropical forest again. The traveler's palm was planted in 2016 and it was only six feet tall, native to Madagascar and part of the bird of paradise family. And now, that's it. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Lincoln, say bye-bye.